Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I wanted to give you an update on Luminar AI. Now, I was just at an online briefing today, an affiliate briefing, so I took some notes down. I want to share that stuff with you today. I'm getting excited about it. You know, Luminar is still working on AI. The beta version isn't out yet, but as soon as that version comes out, I'm going to do some video tutorials on it and show you how awesome this product is going to be. I do believe it's going to be awesome. I, I do have faith in Skylum. But anyway, Luminar AI, AI photo editing, awesome and faster. I do believe it's going to be awesome and it definitely will be faster. They've eliminated layers uh, with Luminar AI. So that's really going to speed up its process. Now, uh, being first pays off. There's more awesomeness about Luminar AI to be discovered. Now you can get it at a special price. Now there was some early bird pricing that is over right now, but you can still pre-order it at a special price. And the good news is they provide a 30-day money-back guarantee from the product release date. So if you buy it for that reduced price right now and you say, gee, I don't like it, you can return it. You have a 30-day return from the time you receive it from Luminar, which is nice. And again, it's coming out in the holiday right here. Now, let me show you that pricing. As I said, the early bird pricing is now over. But here's your special pricing. If you've never owned a Skyland product before, it's going to cost you $74 at the special uh, pre-order pricing. Regular price is $79. Now that's for one computer. Or if you have two computers that you want to use it on, that would be two seats. It would be $89. And the regular price for using it on two computers would be $99. Now, they have a loyalty discount. If you've ever owned any Luminar software or Aurora HDR, you get it for $64 at the pre-order price. And uh, that's for one computer, one seat, or $79 for two seats or two computers. So the pricing there is good. Now, I'll tell you what, even you know the regular price of $79 is pretty amazing for what this software does. And if you used Luminar 4 in the past, you know how amazing Luminar 4 really is. And I believe Luminar AI will be even better. I'm really excited about this. Uh, and if you would do me a favor, if you want to pre-order uh, Luminar AI, and there's every reason to do it because, like I said, you got that money back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, you can return it and get your money back. Use my affiliate link in the description below. Just click on that. Uh, I make a small commission. It helps me keep my YouTube tutorials coming your way. And I really would appreciate that. And I want to thank you in advance if you would use my affiliate link. And as soon as I get the uh, beta version, I will start doing tutorials on Luminar AI. And I just can't wait to get my hands on it and show it to you. All right. Now, I took some notes uh, from the meeting today, and I have them up here on the screen for you. So, number one, AI tools do not replace traditional tools, okay? You're still going to have your traditional tools inside of uh, Luminar AI. So, if you think this is just a one-click wonder, it's not. You have total control over this. And I was worried about that myself, but do not be afraid because you're going to have complete control over Luminar AI. All right, number two, masking without layers. There's no more layers in Luminar AI. You can do 10 masks per image. And that's at the time of the briefing, they said this, that could change. I don't know, probably not, but it could, but you can do up to 10 masks per image and it doesn't use layers. Okay, number three, templates will get you 85 to 90% to the finish line. In other words, those uh, AI templates. So when you uh, bring your image into Luminar AI, it's going to examine it and it's going, going to offer you and suggest to you templates. And that's going to get you 85 to 90% to the finish line. Number four, all of the tools are available in Luminar AI to take your image further. Okay, so the, the tools that are inside of Luminar 4, you're going to find them in Luminar AI, but probably in different spots. Okay, number five, Luminar AI solves problems and adds creativity. So it's going to help you be more creative in your image editing process, which is really cool. And now we come to number six. Luminar AI is not a DAM, a digital asset management system. Now, Luminar were very strong about that, saying we're not a digital asset management system. Yes, they do have a catalog and it works fine. But if you want like a Lightroom type digital asset management system, it's not it. That doesn't mean down the road some someday that they'll have that incorporated into Luminar AI, but not right now. So 
don't think that that's what you're getting here. And, you know, you're getting a wonderful uh, artificial intelligent image editing processor, which is going, again, take you 85 to 90% of the way with artificial intelligence. And then you have all the other tools that you've had in Luminar 4 to get you the rest of the way. And all done without layers with a really faster workflow. So it's going to be really cool, okay? So you can use it as a standalone app or as a plugin, say, in, inside of Photoshop or Affinity Photo. Now, I use it as a plugin inside of Photoshop because that's the way I like to use Luminar. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that's the way I use Luminar 4, okay? Now, you can still crop your images, straighten your images, and rotate your images inside of Luminar AI. Yeah, that's cool. The Erase tool is now live, so that means it's going to be a lot faster, and it does a really fine job erasing and things like that, okay? Number nine, nothing is missing from Luminar 4, just found in different places. All the great tools that you find in Luminar 4, you're going to find them in uh, Luminar AI as well. Number 10, layers are removed to increase speed. So that's going to be very, very helpful. It's going to be a faster workflow. Uh, number 11, legacy looks will be transported over. You may need to update them if something is missing. So you can transport your legacy looks into Luminar AI, but you know, doesn't mean it's going to be a perfect transition. There may be things missing, so you might have to update something, all right? In other words, it, the tool may be found in a different section, so you might have to incorporate that into your template, okay? So anyway, number 12, photo loader. So whenever you bring a, an image into Luminar AI, your image will be analyzed by 5,000 different tags then templates will be recommended to you. And then you choose the one that you want to use. And by the way, you can also create your own user templates, which I think is really, really interesting. Get assistance and inspiration from uh, Luminar AI using templates. Here's what Luminar AI will look like when you're in the template mode right here. So we have this image right here. You know, you can see your before and after just like you could in Luminar 4. But now we're going to get these different uh, templates that we can choose from, which is really cool. And here we go. Here's some more uh, uh, looks of what the interface is going to look like. Now, you'll notice here we have uh, just the, the light tool here. This is not an artificial intelligence tool. So we're going to see, see where AI enhance and AI structure. These are your artificial intelligence tools. But if it doesn't say AI, it's just a regular tool. So it's pretty cool, right? So you do have artificial intelligence tools and you have regular tools there too. So have no fear. You have total control. All right, and unlock new possibilities with Luminar AI. You're going to be able to do really cool stuff with it. And this is dealing with portraits here. One in particular, these are all the different AIs for portraits, body, iris, face, skin, accent, and bokeh. The one I'm most interested in is bokeh, where you can get those nice creamy bokeh backgrounds. I can't wait to try that out myself. Um, and then we have, when you're working on landscapes, you've got your atmosphere AI. This is going to be really cool stuff here. I'm going to show you some uh, before and after shots in a second. We have structure AI. We have sky AI. And these are just regular tools like color harmony, super contrast, and mood tools. These are all new to Luminar AI, which is really nice. And again, we can take a look at some more of the templates for different styles of images here. And again, Luminar will suggest this is a portrait, so it's, it's suggesting this filmatic template here and some other templates. And for portraits, it's suggesting maybe trying these, like you might want to try black and white on this. So it's going to give you a really a lot of help. But remember, you have all the tools to make your image your own, which is nice. And here's one for working on landscapes. Now, this particular image it sees, it's probably a sunset, so it picks the sunset collection template for you here. Now, you don't have to use that when you can try these other creative landscape templates. We're almost done. I wanted to show you some before and after shots of uh, how Atmosphere AI is going to work with Luminar AI. So here's a before image, and here's an after image using Atmosphere AI. Pretty cool, right? Here's another one here. There's the before. And here's the after. Look at that really cool mist on the water. Beautiful results. Here's a mountain scene. Here's the before. 
and here's the after. So it does a really incredible job. Now, don't forget Luminar AI is coming out this holiday season. You can pre-order it at a special price. You know, they had that early bird pricing to the first 30,000 customers. That's over now, but there's still some special pre-order pricing, okay? Uh, and also, they provide a 30-day money-back guarantee from the product release date. So if you're not 100% satisfied after the product is shipped to you, you have 30 days to, des to decide if you like it or not. And by the way, here is your special pricing, okay? If you've never owned a Skyline product before, it's $74 for one computer, $89 for two computers. The loyalty discount is for any uh, person who has ever owned any version of Luminar or Aurora HDR. You get a special loyalty discount from Skyline, $64 for one computer or $79 if you want to use uh, Luminar AI on two computers. And also, as I said earlier at the beginning of the video, if you want to purchase... Uh, Luminar AI pre-order and get this extra savings right now. I would recommend that you would uh, click on my affiliate link in the description below. I'll make a small commission. It just helps me keep my YouTube tutorials coming your way. It really helps out my channel. I really appreciate that. And I want to thank you in advance if you do that. And the last thing I want to show you is the tech specs. And a couple of things I really want to point out here, you can read this on the screen here, pause the video or whatever. But the thing I want to point out is RAM. It says memory, eight gigabytes of RAM or more for both Windows or Mac machines. You definitely want to have 16 gigabytes of RAM or more. That's what uh, Luminar AI is recommending. So I really recommend that too. I don't think eight gigabytes is going to cut it with this a piece of software. So definitely have at least 16 or more. And also uh, your uh, hard disk drive, you want to make sure you have an SSD drive because with an SSD drive, it's going to access the information a lot faster in making your uh, Luminar AI experience more enjoyable. So you definitely want to have an SSD, dri SSD drive. I highly recommend that. Well, there you go. Luminar AI is coming this holiday season. Well, there it is, everybody. Luminar AI, it is coming. So, hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.